Good sunny morning. Today is day 16 of my southbound part of the through hike. And big day today. I'm getting up into the Bigelows. I believe that's Little Bigelow sitting there in the background. Uh, bigger Bigelows is hiding behind it. It's 11.1 .1 mile day and roughly 4,500 feet elevation gain. And I think it's like 1,600 feet loss. So most of the day is going to be up, 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 and up. And uh, overnight, I should be at Bigelow Call tent site, which I think is tent platforms nestled up in the top there somewhere. Super special thank you to Gypsy and Fern, a through hiking couple from a couple years ago. I followed online and met them on uh, trail days also. They offered their cabin up uh, last night to me as trail magic, so I stayed the night with them. Thank you so, so much. It was wonderful uh, being in a warm, dry place overnight. Super appreciate it. Oh man, working my way up Little Bigelow. Not so little. It's been pleasant, but it's just up and up and up. Good views, good views are starting to pop out and it's a wonderful day. Getting higher. All right, I think those two peaks over there behind me, I think right in between them is my home for the night. So I got to get from here to there. It's like 1230. So I have like four hours to get there. I should be able to do that. It's a little ski resort back there in the background. Hey, look at that, Little Bigelow Mountain. The mere 3,040 feet. So in here, in between the Bigelows, the trail's been kind of nice. It goes up and down, up and down, up and down. There's some chunky rocks, you know, so you got your chunky monkey going on, but uh, they're kind of few and far between, so it's been pretty good. I gotta get down this. Um, so quick I can get down. I wanna get some water before I go up, uh, what is it, Avery Peak, Bigelow Avery, um, before I get to the tent site, because the water at the tent site, it um, seems to be unreliable, and I don't want to be caught without, so I'm going to carry some. Whoa. OMG, this is the trail, cool. I'm going to go off that. Where do it go? <laughs> Stand away from the edge. Do, do, do. Oh, it goes way down there. Alright, maybe I'll go over this way. Yeah, that's a ticket. Why does it keep looking bigger? It's not getting any smaller.
for the ice. There's ice. It's slippery up here. All right, end of the day. Let's see, 11 and a half miles, and they were super hard miles. Uh, got here way later than I thought I was, although I missed the sunset. The evening uh, moonrise over the rivers and lakes looked really cool. And uh, the wind piped up, so it was a little bit uh, sloppy there at the end. Coming down to the tent sites was a little sketchy. It was uh, some bouldering, and there was a little bit of rime ice uh, going on on those, uh, as well as just some frozen puddles. Uh, got down to the tent pads, and what did I learn? Let's see, a, a uh, X-Mid. No, oh, what is this? This is the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Mid-1. Um, it is slightly wider than the tent pad, so I had to improvise the setup. And it's kind of flappy, but good enough to keep the wind off me. And also, when I put the tent away the other day, it was wet. And it is 23 degrees right now. So when I went to set the tent up, it was like a frozen block. So that, that was not too cool. Uh, other than that, great day. Tomorrow is a much easier eight-mile day, and it's mostly down to the road.